narcissists live for control and they get it by being able to manipulate people and events. So they receive large amounts of narcissistic supply when they are the ones pulling the strings and putting you on an emotional roller coaster of crazy making. This is what makes them feel so in control because as long as the narcissist can make you laugh, get you believe a lie, make you angry, make you feel guilty or make you cry, that lets them know they can play with you. Many times they like to play it soft and nice by smiling in our face and doing favors in order to break down our boundaries and our defenses. Be mindful that it is all done with a smile on their face and a knife in their hand. That is how they seek to conquer. They like to know they can influence our mood, our behaviors, our lifestyle and whatever else have you. They seem to know what to say and how to act to trigger a response. But we need to realize that the key is in when we react to the narcissist. As long as the narcissist knows they can influence you, push your buttons, or get you to react to them, they think they've got you right where they want you. To the narcissist, once you are emotionally invested in them, they know they can manipulate you. With that manipulation comes a sense of control. Once your emotions are involved when dealing with narcissists, their ultimate aim will be to manipulate those emotions. Once you know you are dealing with a narcissist, you have to know how to control your emotions. If you don't, the narcissist will control them for you. It is that simple. When we are no longer readable or react to the narcissist, they simply do not know what to do. It frustrates them. It drives them crazy when we are but a blank canvas in their presence. Because narcissists cannot operate around people, they cannot deceive or control as it makes them very uncomfortable. The most important thing is that you are the boss of your emotions and you let the narcissist only see what you want them to see. But in most cases, grey rock in a narcissist is best as they cannot handle being around someone who doesn't think they are relevant or worth engaging with. And this applies to everyone. Even if you have been in a relationship with a narcissist and they think they know you and own you and can twist you as they like, as soon as you turn off that emotional tap and better yet keep it off, the narcissist knows they've lost you. They will try to provoke you to make you break, especially if they had you before. It takes a while before they accept that you are done. But once they realize their game is up, with you, they consider it a loss because they can no longer manipulate you. They cannot emotionally destabilize you any longer. They can no longer control you. And if a narcissist cannot control you or influence you, they will try to eliminate you or avoid you. And that is why it is important to not just be able to spot narcissists, but also know how to act around them, which means primarily keeping our emotions in check. That involves being distant, abrupt sometimes, boring, and just overall disinterested. That is why it is called grey rocking, because you are being like a grey rock where there is not much excitement going on. But to conclude, now you know what narcissists need to feel in control or like they have a chance at playing you. They basically need us and our emotions. If we are able to take our emotions out of the equation, we will be able to block the narcissist from thinking or even trying to get control. 